Secondary boosters. <laughs> Technically, we are onto the secondary boosters. We're the second in the batch for the. Huh? This, we're the second in the batch for this particular. Second thousand, yeah. Then, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, this current sixty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so, so. Second in the, in the batch is current launch. Mm. <laughs> this should be the last time for this one for a couple of months at least mm. I think we're in the slow season for us February both shop and online sales are very very slow at this time mm. of year so this will be the last batch probably until March I guess I don't know who knows don't say that there will be a, be a big influx in the next two days now. I've got to get some of the other staff members up to doing this it's yeah. crazy you know? it's not my job I shouldn't be doing this Especially this week, I should be downstairs working on that toilet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, chat's getting busy now. Frozen runner. Um, no, it's going to be. So it's the last in last batch of owls for this current period of time. Um. Yeah, I think there's. How many is in the 30s? Yeah, the this 30s, will be, so, yeah. the 30 went to all my yesterday, so this will yeah. give us 60 or so. It should do for a couple of months. <coughs> Korangami says, uh, I was just wondering how this owl print would make for a lovely Valentine's Day gift. <laughs> Don't start a new panic, please. <laughs> Next Valentine's Day, everyone. Let's just let's give Dave a rest for a, a little bit in the owls. <laughs> Now Judd's here. Hey Judd. Yeah, I haven't seen the green now. I was hoping to Skype yesterday, but I haven't seen. Mm. Judd seemed to be offline. I don't know. Judd, are you hiding? We're just, we're just very busy. And that Mex can you ask Jed that the Mexican design? Oh yeah, yeah. What what size were we talking about on that? What's physical dimensions? Yeah. Jed, did you get that? The um the Mexican design you sent over last night. Um have you got dimensions on it? Oh Jed said I thought Dave had been hiding. Oh, this is a bit of he said, he said, yeah. she said. I'll keep, I'll keep out of this one and let you two. Well, I haven't been hiding. I've been... <laughs> They've been knocking holes and rebuilding said holes downstairs. Frozen Runner says, you should have two owls hugging close and their silhouettes creates a heart shape. It's the Valentine's Day gift. Yeah, buy two and get your scissors out. Go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Jenkins, uh, the new design you're working on, the link won't work on mobile on a recorded stream. What one was that? What link was that, did you tell me? Mr. Jenkins, what was that like? Hmm, Mr. Jenkins... Um, uh, yeah, he's talking about a link. Is this? Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry, I haven't been working on a new design. A new design here. I are you talking saying... to me or talking to Jed? Or no, what? no, no. It's Mr. Jenkins wrote in the chat to me. Oh, people said it looked like Gundam. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That yeah, must that's be the Neo Tokyo. Yeah, about. yeah, that's the Neo Tokyo one with uh, with Jed. So if Jed's still in here, if he he would so kindly post the link in the chat. That's um, yeah. That's a taste of what's to come. There's another. There's another print coming before that with Jed, a, um, a One Punch Man one, and then and then we'll be uh, and then we'll be going on the Neo Tokyo stuff. Straighty, yeah. That's it. The Tokyo Police one, yeah. Look at this. I'm in the printmaking, but I haven't seen this. I was, this was in the yesterday, wasn't it? 
Willis and Carpenter helping Dave with some renovations on my fashion. He's also a woodblock room manager who collaborated with Jed in the past, and that work can be found there. Is that going to be changed next week? Yeah, yeah, we're going to have to change this. You better, I don't think anybody knows what's going on, actually. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, I suppose I can say. Um, I'm having to leave Tokyo a bit early and go back to the UK. I'm leaving on um, Saturday morning, unfortunately. Um, so I won't be here to see the completion of the downstairs and stuff or um, <clears throat> continue with these streams. But I'll be here in I'll be here in Heart and Soul and But not Hammer. No, but not Hammer and Saw, unfortunately. But hopefully there's an opportunity. <laughs> Abandoning you. I'm, I'm coming back to your side. I'm going to be. I'm going to be on the other side. I'm going to be typing in the chat furiously. Hopefully, though, if Dave will have me again in the future, I'll, I'd love to come back. Next time we will shop. Yeah. Next. I'm not sure if I trust you anymore. The next, the next floor. <laughs> The, the removal of my uh, my command on the box has been scheduled now. Oh, okay, Jed. Um, that's all right. Uh, people were just asking about the the first Neo Tokyo image. If you can post that in the chat again, um, I'm not sure if the I think the link wasn't working. Well, that sun is strong today, isn't it? All right then. It looks good on the block, though. Just watching the, brushing the, brushing this pigment. There's a loose hair there. I couldn't get it off. Ah, uh, <coughs> oh, Gingy eighty six says I am now a chibi patron. Well, thank you. So, yeah, a couple more came in overnight. I saw that. Mm. Like, I don't know who they are. They're just the patron name. So, mm. thank you, sir. Aramas says, any update on the floor? Um, not the floor, but one browser bin is completely built. Another two, the uh, the main components are fixed together and it's just a case of assembling it. Dave now has the new room for the toilet pretty much done, aside from uh, gypsum board in the walls. Yeah, I've got to put the yeah. soundproofing and yeah. the gypsum board up and then put the floor in. And I don't know, today I've got to get a, a hunch to ready for... Um, mm. Oh, sucks I've got to work on design. Mm, mm. So I don't know if I get down there today or not. I've got to check a bunch of prints to send to all me. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm a bit all over the place with all, where all my kit is stored anyway, so if I can... <coughs> once I get out of the way, then this, this afternoon, then you'll have a, a nice free run at that. But yeah, Dave's got it all wired up, and yeah, it's looking good now. That sun's really making the box yeah, look nice. Sun, and it's sun, making yes. it look really nice on the street. It's not actually so easy for me here. I should no. turn it off, but whatever. <laughs> Just it'll be gone in a minute. It's really good on. You can see the shininess. Yeah, you can. But you can see exactly where you've brushed out and smooth, smooth the pigment out and stuff. It looks really nice on it.
That sound is the Patreon yeah. coming in. Yeah. Seems like I don't want to jinx it, but touch wood, no drop frames. Seems well, I said I shut down everything else yeah. in the building yeah. and I restarted the computer. Yeah. And People are struggling with the URLs. Pardon? People are struggling with links in the uh, Twitch app on the mobile. Okay. Oh, this is quite an interesting question. Come on, Gary asks. Uh, yes, oh, yeah, you carry on. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make more What's more challenging, uh, color separation for a complex print? So I assume the do you mean the printing of the of a, comp a complex print like the boss fight, or the equivalent in a total monochromatic print? I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. Total monochromatic print is one block. I'm, I'm not sure what you mean. No, no but I, I, I assume it means by different varying levels of grey and stuff. Oh, I like that Neil Tolkien thing. That's 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 simply two colors, green and grey. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not sure what to say. I don't have a whole lot of experience with that. I mean, obviously, the clearer you can see the different colors, mm. it's easier to make a distinction. Yeah, yeah, but that one, they're all the same color. So mm. how do you split it? You know, I, I, it's going to be very difficult. I don't, I don't, mm. don't know if I can do that. You know, mm. I'm sorry. I just I haven't, I haven't looked mm. at the Photoshop mm. file. I don't know what. You know, all I know is there's a very lot of very similar mm. colors, which means it's going to be difficult to to understand mm. how to split it all up. I would assume that you could. Because they're just dark, progressively darkening tones that you could just build, you could just use larger colour masses. Yeah, but it's not a question of, of A with B on top and then C on top and then mm. D on top. Because A will be a base, B will be on part of it, C will be on a different mm. part of it, mm. D will be on both A and B. Mm. Mm. So they don't layer up like a pyramid. They layer up like, you know, some bizarre bunch of pyramids all interlocked together, mm. you know. So it's not simple at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the Yoshida days, we, we know how they did that. Their, their prints are extremely overlaid and difficult and dense. Mm -hmm. And looking at the finished print, there's no way to see what those layers are. Yeah. But what they did was, they started with a key block. Yeah. He put one or two or three tones, cut, cut the blocks for one or two or three tones, printed it, mm. looked at that, and then said, okay, now let's see, okay, well, on this part of the print, let's add this. Then they said, okay, that's, that's block number five or something. Yeah, yeah. Then they print it out. Okay, now let's see, what can we do from here? And they built it layer by layer by uh, layer. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. And yeah. sometimes they would sort of change your mind, pull one out and go back and do another test yeah, from the yeah, beginning. Yeah. So they built it without having a model in mind. In uh, other words, the finished image didn't exist. Yeah. The so sketch existed as, in the concept. Yeah, yeah. In Jed's case, we're doing this really, really a difficult way. Mm. He's creating it in another media. And then we're trying to translate it in the wood block. And yeah, this is yeah, not this is yeah. not good. This is not what should be happening yeah. actually. I see. So we're we're making in other words a wood block reproduction of a oh. print designed in, in silk screen format, you know, Photoshop yeah, format. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is not good. Mm, I see, I see. But it, <clears throat> so it could be done that way. It'd be a long winded process. Yeah, if Jed it? was here, if he yeah, was part yeah. of the process. He gives yeah. me the lines, yeah. we cut the lines. Mm. Now Jed mm. sits down side by side with us here. And, and we, we do a couple of colours, yeah. yeah. For it, for it. But he's got to be on, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he sits down next to him. That's what Hasui did. Hasui sat down next to Onosan, the printer. Mm. Hasui did, you know, we saw that video yeah. a while ago. Yeah. That was a bit of a staged thing. Hasui, here I am, I'm doing the complete colour separations mm. for this print all by myself in a room by myself. For some simple designs that might have happened. Mm. But even as we saw during that, we could see it clearly it was staged because some of those things he was doing weren't what was visible in the finished print. Mm. 
So you do one or two or three or four as your basic ones that you know we're going to be there. The sky yeah. is going to be there, the ground's going to yeah. be there, this character's yeah. going to be there. You carve those and print those, mm. and then work on top of that. I see. I see. And that's how the Shin Hunger prints were built, yeah. step by step yeah. by step. Okay. Okay, that, yeah, that, sort of, that makes, it makes more sense in my head. But that means the artist, the designer, has to be an active part of the process, of the manufacturing process. It's got to be here. Mm. When we did this with Jed five years ago, the, the first ukiyo prints, he kept them in a clean, simple ukiyo style. The rickshaw cart print mm. and the fox moon print and whatever. It's outlines plus flat colors. That's no problem, because from, from his Photoshop work, we can extract all the information we need. Mm. It's like me over the years. I've made a reproduction of many, many ukiyo prints. No problem, because you can see from the outside yeah. how they're built. Yeah. You can see yeah. all the way down, yeah. which you can't see with the Shinhanga prints. Mm. So we're a little bit floundering in deep water, all of us here, you know. We've got mm. this little plan, and we're going to do these things, but we're not doing it the way that it should yeah. be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And coupled with the fact that to converse, the three of us can be further away in terms of time mm, difference. Mm, mm. It's not exactly like we can mm. jump on and be like, right, here's this. Well, it could be like this. this. We could do this. You, can, you know, you, you're doing that in Neo Tokyo. Cut the key mm. block, put mm. a couple of base tones in, yeah. send it to Jet. He gets a watercolor brush out, yeah. paints on top of it or something. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I yeah. have no idea. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then just send the file. Yeah, just copy the file and send it back. But then it's Jet's problem because he's already got this clear image in mind. He's yeah. done playing on the click, click, click stuff. <clears you know? throat> But he can then, he could still build that from, sorry Jed, I'm not, I don't mean to talk about you like as if yeah. you're not here, yeah. Jed, you could then, yeah, could work from his original and and match in and marry in as much as possible and keep building like that. But it's a very diff difficult, different concept, you know, because Jed already has the clear finished idea mm. in mind in his head mm. because of what he's done on the screen. I'm not sure if those screens are a help for us or a hindrance, I don't know. The finished print would be very different. I think it sounds fun though. Did you see the block set for Shinjuku? You know, the Shinjuku print, the Yoshida one. We've got the block, we don't have the blocks, we've got a full photograph scan with the block oh, no, set. I don't. No, no, no. It'll remind me that when we're down here, we'll go downstairs and have a look at it. And you can see places where they had A, B, like I said, built more colors, built more colors, mm. built more colors, mm. built more colors. Mm. Then there was lots of places where they decided, yeah, yeah, we need another color on this woman's kimono here. They Rather than cut a whole new blank block for that, they'd find a little empty spot like this on oh, some okay, block, yeah, yeah. cut a couple more registration marks here, and yeah. just use that little spot yeah, there. Yeah. So any given block space, there's print here one, print here two, yeah. print, move it around, print yeah. here two. They've just used up the wood like a puzzle. Yeah, so the print is just it's like... It's absolute so, chaos. Without yeah, having yeah. A, a guide sheet, which they've got, they've kept the yeah, guide yeah, sheet yeah. about this. Without having that, you're absolutely yeah. totally yeah. lost. Wow. And you can see where they built it. Mm. Mm. Jen said, I don't have access to the same pigments. It's a whole skill set I'm unfamiliar with. Well, I think it's, it's, it's yeah, just... Well, it's true. It's a skill set he's unfamiliar with. Sitting next to a printer and talking together. And let's try this, let's try this. Mm. Yes, absolutely. Mm. Mm. I think it sounds fun though, Jed. I, I, yeah, I think without saying like, too much out in the open and stuff, we've got, we've got a really good period of time to, to build this image, to spend, and to make sure that what I'm doing is matching in as, as, as close to what your what your vision is. We've got a long time to do it, so I think if we, if we really take our time and really think hard and stuff, it would set a very good precedent for the rest of it. <coughs> oh, next question. J50 says, how do you deal with wood swelling and drying out? Are there certain precautions you take? You want to answer that based on yesterday's experience? Yeah, yeah. So I can, I can, yeah. Uh, um, well, you don't know what to do. So. Yeah, so so downstairs, the uh, browser bins I'm making. Huh? Yeah, the browser bins I'm making. Oh, in uh, carpentry bin or in print making? Well, so I can talk about both because it's, it's a similar process. Right. So wood swells and 
in dries. Where's the gold box? I'm not really showing this one in drying. So here's an old block. And wood always has a certain level of moisture in. It will always have a certain amount of moisture. Even if it's been sat in the driest room for 20 years, it's still going to have that extra percent of moisture in. And, so, and what makes wood warp is water going in and then going out very fast. If it's done gradually, then there's no problem. So if I'm correct in saying, if you've got a warped part of a block you're using, you can give it a water bath, you can soak it in water overnight to try and... Yeah, I've been calling the old boxes, they're too dry. Yeah, yeah. Simple, they're too dry. Mm. They never swell, they're too dry and they've mm. shrunk. Mm. So we do a test first, we try and see how far the block has shrunk, then either actually dunk it in the bath mm. overnight mm. if we think it needs yeah. lots, or half hour before, yeah. or put it, get a wet towel, yeah. put the block face down on the wet towel, yeah. and physically let it drink water so it comes back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's if it's a clean yeah. shrink this way. Mm. Quite often it's not so simple, it's warped or shrunk in part, yeah. and we move the registration yeah. marks. You know? uh, I'd say, yeah. Those marks on that block, they must yeah. have been recarved and recut many times, right? You can see them. Yeah, yeah. This one. The registration marks are not immutable. They move no. daily, hourly, minutely. Mm -hmm. Especially with these solid blocks. Yeah, of course, of course. The ones I'm doing on this aisle, the registration marks are never going to move. It's small, it's mm -hmm. on a plywood mm -hmm. base, it's not gonna it's not gonna change at all. But on those old solid wood blocks. It's the mm, printer's mm. job all the time during the day. You have to watch each and every copy of the print coming up. Watch for variations. Mm. But for the modern people doing this, they're working with plywood. It's really not much of a problem. No. You set your marks and bang, you're done. Mm. Unless you let your paper get too dry or something, and then the paper is shrinking and drying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we've got loads of comments in there. Uh, what have we got? Jed's here saying, um, can't my Photoshop files get you within 80% of the goal? Realistically. Well, that's what we've been doing. Mm, of course, mm, mm, mm. It's up to us to try and translate those Photoshop mm, files. Mm. And it's now, in, in turn, it's up to me to try and so Dave's got all this experience, all this time working on it and stuff. And now it's up to me to sort of find, also find the, the sweet spot in, in doing it. And people are, yeah, people are talking about the way the colour separations are made on Jed's Photoshop files and stuff. Oh, Jed, if you're if you're still here, at some point I need to have a um, talk to you about blocks and and, and such. Just just a reminder myself about that.
Current Gami. Uh, well, if you had to draw inspiration, tradition, landscapes, etc., from a region of the UK to create a print, which would it be? Ooh. Um. Let me think. So, if you want, if you want big classic rolling hills and stuff, um, you've got Cumbria. I really like Devon. If you're if you're looking for like dramatic like cliffs with a river running down and that like cool classic like wild British look, then yeah, Devon is really nice. In that uh, what's it called? Like, is it Ilfracoom? Yeah, Cheddar's a good one. Yeah, around Ilfracoom and stuff. <clears throat> but also, if you're looking for, um, if you're looking for to do buildings and stuff, London's just so interesting. There's just so much. Every street in London is different. You can walk down one and you've got these massive great tall glass buildings and then you're on the next street and it's this old Victorian red brick townhouse and stuff. I think personally in what you see from a lot of UK print printmakers is there's there's too much of like the Cumbrian Snowdonia cheddar landscapes and not enough looking trying to do something really interesting with the cities it's not just like abstract form are you trying to promote your neo tokyo series <laughs> yeah neo london <laughs> no i'm just saying from what i see because i think it's been done to dust now that everyone every oil painter or printmaker and anyone going back hundreds of years has done images of of uh Cumbria and stuff, but there are some really interesting places in the country. If you go out from like Stowe on the Wold, if anyone knows that. Last name God, yeah, Manchester. Manchester's got a really nice um uh, there's some really nice old dirt streets in Manchester. Edinburgh. Edinburgh. If you if you want to do a print with loads of different layers and levels and stuff, different planes, Edinburgh. You can't beat that. You're have like, you? Do you know the Platt, John Platt stuff? Have you seen that? I have seen bits and pieces. Yeah, I'm not cute. I'm not. He did, very good, he did stuff. a very good job putting British landscape into a platform. Mm, mm. I've got a few of them. Mm. Pretty much untaught, self-taught. I mean. Yeah. Um. Japanese traditional Japanese technique. Or, yeah, on yeah, Japanese yeah, paper yeah. and cutting it away. Yeah. You learned a little bit from Urushibara before the war. Ah, okay. His book, the Platt book, is really probably the most single useful book. Mm. The Hiroshi Yoshida book is just too complex for beginners. Yeah. The Platt's beginner book is the most useful. Yeah. Oh, your mother's in the chat. She Hi, Mom. Hello. Yeah. She says, uh, a, a blue bow wood in West Yorkshire. Ah, there you go, back in the conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that'd be a very good place, Mrs. Ball. That's funny, because when I hear you talk about Yorkshire, it sounds like moors and moors. I don't hear think about woods and stuff. I don't mm. even have to, Are there mm. trees in West Yorkshire? Well, I think it's more just rolling hills and... Dramatic. She said a bluebell wood. Are there such things wood. in Yorkshire? I don't know. So I'm not trying to be sarcastic. It's no, not I my impression. I haven't, um, I haven't spent a great deal of time in Yorkshire. Name. Yeah, Old Town in Edinburgh. Old Town in Edinburgh is awesome. It's awesome. It's one of my favourite places in the, in the UK, Edinburgh. If it wasn't so cold there all the time, I would have lived there. talking about uh, like a Shinhanga style like a gritty old part of East London in like that that like Shinhanga style 
I think that'll translate really well. You could get a really, you could go super nostalgic and go really overboard with making it look like old Victorian London and stuff, and really dramatic lighting and that. It could be really interesting. I think some of the designs I've seen you guys playing with so far, that Neo Tokyo, whatever mm. that is, one thing I think might be missing a little bit is the strong contrast. You know, mm. that's one of the things about the, the Shin Hunger Prints is there can mm. be really, really deep dark blacks in an area and really, really bright, you know, bright light yeah, in a yeah, nighttime yeah. scene or something like yeah. that. And if it's too bland, if it's all muddy, 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 muddy together, you lose a lot of the attractiveness. Mm. Mm. My, my personal, mm. you know, I would rather see mm. bright and dark. Yeah, that one we were looking at last, what was the print I showed with the, the, uh, the old like, temple buildings? Oh, it's on a madra, madras. If, yeah. you, if you type the words uh, Yoshida and then madras, hmm. you'll see that image. You know? Oh, I'm just going to type the Yoshida. M A D R A S. It's the name of some temple in India, you know. Mm. And we're inside this dark, gloomy temple, and there's a shaft of light coming from somewhere, lighting up some woman standing there. And there's different levels of gloom. Mm. And to me, you know, I'm not telling you what to do, but for me, that's the really attractive mm. aspect of any of these mm. prints is this wonderful contrast and the use of a dark to make something very bright. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I think when you look at the Shinhanga stuff, it's almost it's almost bordering on the abstract because light doesn't necessarily always fall like that in that huh? greater contrast. It's it's almost not realism. It's almost well, emphasising that light to such an extent. Some of them, so especially the like the either. sorry the more like tourist ones like the there was hmm? that one of the. There's one I showed you yesterday, it was all greys, and then it had the Has red, that you should have been popped up in the stream? Uh, I've just, I've written the name <laughs> in there so people can see. Also, Jez, that Yoshida Madras one, um, they've got uh, that whole series in the Ashmolean in Oxford, about half an hour away from me. So I can put in a request to them, and I can go and get a load of really good photos, if you like. I'm not sure palette-wise if it's what we're going to... No, I'm not suggesting. I just said that. That's, that's a concept. Treatment of light and stuff. Yeah. Is. Large cavernous room with light falling into mm. it. You know? mm. And there's also the one I sent you yesterday, Jeff, that I forgot to send and then resend. Oh, not two of this. Do you live? Do you live in Edinburgh yourself? Then? Talking about the cold and rain. <laughs> Apparently, typing in Yoshida Madras brings up loads of plaid and tartan handbags. Really? I don't. Yeah. Like... I'll go into which window is the chrome one? It's uh, six. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Have, am I remembering it wrong? We looked at it yesterday. Hiroshi Yoshida, Hiroshi Yoshida, Hiroshi Yoshida, Madras, India. Hiroshi Yoshida, Madras, India. Uh, wow. It was at the top yesterday when we searched. Why? What's going on? There it is, third row, fourth from the left, right? Is that it? One, two, three, four. Third row, third row. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, that's one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Visit the page or visit the image and copy the image link itself. Yeah. Yeah. Tartan handbags, what's that all about? I don't know. What's that name? <laughs> Can 
Okay, okay. King Hunter, yeah, Indiana Jones, yeah, it does look like um, yeah, a scene from Indiana yeah, Jones, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah, those guys, maybe they're studying wood buffets yeah. for their lighting. Who knows? Yeah. The world is coming around to our way of seeing things. Mm. 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 Oh, Joe, I don't necessarily think it needs to increase our block size. I think it's just. Yeah, I think we can get with our with our, our block count. We can we can do a count. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy around. Mm -hmm. Aromat says, uh, Jed and Dave, I watched the film the other day, and I was wondering how you managed to keep the Colossus without outline for Dave to print. Oh, you mean the Colossus in the background? Mm. That's no problem at all because it doesn't interfere with everything else. It mm. doesn't have to register with anything else. Oh, okay. The problem you have when <coughs> parts of the image have outlines and part don't have outlines, mm. like that one punch thing you're doing, mm. the parts with an outline all have to line up. Yeah. And then parts that don't have outlines, if there's one or two or three or four of them, they have to line up with each other, but there's no mm. outline to key it for you. Yeah. The Colossus there, we just took it from Jed's Photoshop data, just put it, it on enough. my sheet and printed it. Yeah, yeah. And it's isolated, which makes yeah. it dead easy, absolutely yeah. isolated. Then if the other part of this that has no outlines, the greenery in the middle area between the boy and the horse and the monster mm -hmm. is greenery. Yeah. It doesn't have outlines, oh, but okay. it's, sta it's staged. It's light yeah. green, medium green on top, dark green on top yeah. of that. Yeah. So the medium green gun, so there's no, there's no yeah. registration problem on that. Mm -hmm. Our trouble comes when there's many intertwining things overlapping and intertwining with no clear outlines. Mm. That's when it gets mm. really, really difficult for the manufacturing side of it. Mm. So. How are you explaining the, the breakdown of that one punch image to me? Was it last night or night before? Last night? Well, layered, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it, makes, yeah it makes a lot more sense to me now in how I'm going to break the image down. Yeah, that's it. See, Google knows people. People were getting image searches for tartan handbags when looking for that Yoshida printer. We were just talking about Edinburgh. Ah, Google's, what? Google's what? watching what? us. They, they know. <laughs> what? 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 Is this true? Well, no. I think. I think <laughs> it just I, something. I think in, in the search time, but. I've got loads of people from Edinburgh. What do we call people from Edinburgh? Is it Edinburghians? Edinburgh. I don't know. Edinburgh. Edinburgh. And no, back he's a Scottish. Well, yeah, I was going to say Scots, but I didn't think, yeah. you know. But no, because you know, you like you have a Londoner or yeah, yeah, yeah. a Yorkshireman and things like that. Humans, yeah. Yeah, so I know, I understand. I'm being, I asked a stupid question, so I'm going to get stupid. <laughs> ah, Lothian, I understand. Hibs fans, yeah, okay, well, I'm going to just leave that one there. <laughs> Historian of things. No, I'm 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 sure Google know what we're all talking about. I have a Google phone, so it's probably even worse for me. I know everything I do. I know every call I've made.
Yeah, you're right. There are arrow maps. <laughs> says there are no stupid questions, just opportunities for a smart ass retort. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, I understand, Jed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, you can, something else you can mention to Jed. Um, mm. the, the key block is ready to start carving now for Times Burn Bright. I'll be sending it to Kawasaki San okay. in Kobe today. Yeah. So starting tomorrow, whatever the key block carving on Times Burn Bright is now actually happening. So. There you go, Jed. You got that? This has been on the to-do list for years. And that's going to be number 17 in the new QA Hero series. Oh, wow. Wow. You can maybe pop a link into that. It's over on Jed's QAHeroes.com website. At the moment, it's not in the woodblock side. It's in the uh, Jikle side. It's called Times Burnt Bright. Don't mention the game. People can think of it by themselves. Yeah. Production starts. Small production has started. The tracing is ready. I gotta find a piece of wood for it. Paste it down today and send it to Kawasaki. -san. Ooh. This one. Yeah. If you pop up to get the larger image or just send a web page, whatever it's up to you. Yeah. <coughs> But the way you're quite slowly, somebody will beat you to it, I think. Ah, oh, I win. Okay. Yeah? I win. <laughs> so it's now February, so estimated ETA in the shop is summer is 2018. That's all I can say. Mm -hmm. And that's got problems. Uh, problems. I mean, it's got uh, difficulties. Uh, there's so many areas there. The same thing without key block. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the left corner, bottom left, and the characters around the fire. Okay, it's yeah. when you get into the fire and up into the distance. Yeah, yeah. See. Which is kind of why it's been postponed and postponed and mm. postponed. But you know. all the logs on the fire. Right? Oh, nice. Yeah, I like it. And it's, it comes back to what we're talking about with that Yoshida Madras print. Bright mm -hmm. light surrounded by really dark. And, and the version that I'll be making probably will be darker in the dark corners. Mm -hmm. Bottom left corner, you probably won't be able to see anything. Mm -hmm. you know, I did a campfire print in my Solitude series. And oh, just, yeah, 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 yeah. And I just kept layer on darker and darker and darker and darker and darker around it. You know? I suppose you can, if you start light, you can keep building, can't you? Yeah, the thing, the thing too about Jed's Jiglay things is there's limits to how much pigment, he'll, t he'll talk about this mm. here, there's limits to how much of his spray pigment he can do, they do this, mm. to the saturation. Yeah. <coughs> You know, the, the, the machines he's using physically won't saturate more than a certain point. You know? Okay. Well, my dad and Jed are talking about Florida and alligators. Now. Is that for today? It should have shown the date. Yeah, I think I, I didn't get it quick enough. Uh, uh, I'm just worried about if it's 10 o'clock. Okay. Um, do you want me to go into the... Let's have a quick look in the mail. Second window, the inbox. 
Um, blocks. And the type, the subject of the mill should show you. Yeah, right at the bottom. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh uh, two, oh eight. That's today. Yeah, it's today. Yeah. What time is it? Ten o'clock. I have to click into the mill itself to see the time. Uh, one o'clock. One o'clock. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Yeah, everyone keep asking Jed questions about how he makes his images. And that's that's probably one part of the process that mm. hasn't yeah. been seen as much. Yeah, let's just keep quiet then. Let's go for it. Yeah. Frozen Runner, yeah, Judd has a, um, Judd does have a YouTube page, doesn't he, where he's got a couple of, couple of videos of him inking, I think, yeah. Oh wow! Oh, that's cool. Jed's put the um, PSD file for the uh, the Neo Tokyo uh, police print into the chat so people can look at the how he's broken. Oh, the layers, yeah. yeah. So he's broken down his layers. Give it a couple of months. We're going to see 20, 20 versions of it now. Coming to a Chinese website near you. Mm. That's when you start seeing it popping up in the shop around the corner and vendors on the street side now. <laughs> it's funny, I don't think we've seen much ripping off of the Okio Hero's work. Like no, no, making no. t shirts and stuff like this, you know. Oh is that? I don't I don't no, I don't no. I said I don't think no. we are I assume there is this, you know. there there would be something out there. I mean, we're not worried about people yeah. making wood no, print versions of them because no. nobody out there has that technology. But I would have thought that Jed's imagery would have been ripped off much mm. more mm. for, you know, posters and, and you know. Mm. Mm. Maybe he's seen more of it. Uh, I don't know. I've yeah, maybe. Yeah, I bet, I bet that is something. You always see, you always see um, questionable copyright stuff on things like, uh, on these, like, make-your-own-t-shirt websites. Mm. Red so, bubble so, so, and stuff so. like that. Uh, there's constant demand for the Ukiah Heroes t-shirts Jed gave up on that a long time ago. Mm. I'd buy an Ukiah Heroes t-shirt, Jed, if you're making it. I 
And he goes to these cons, it wouldn't be a great thing there, but it's the logistics that's such a huge problem. He's got to go haul mm. around 50 mm. different sizes and colors and you know, different designs. Mm. It's just a staggering logistics problem. Uh, that's an interesting point. Jed says, yeah, people sell them on T-shirts a lot and I have to chase them down the town to stop, but to a degree, a fan artist can ri- only ride a horse so high. Yeah, 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 so, 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 yeah. so. Yeah, so there's only so much yeah, you can... Yeah, yeah. You can push it before you just could be like, oh, yeah. Mr. Um says, you say nobody has that ability, but what would you do if someone did start making fake world footprints of jets? Well, you could probably safely say they are going to look a patch on... on yeah, I mean, I'm what not the guy who asked me, I'm the factory yeah. here. Mm. This is all Jed's IP. Mm. Mm. The UK here is yeah, all Jed's IP and Jed's the owner. So. If you showed a, a reproduction, for example, if I went and tried to remake one, it's not going to look anything like that. You'd, Can I quote you on that away. then? Yeah, you'd, you'd know straight away. But, give it a hundred years. Well, once it's out of copyright public domain, it's no, no longer an issue, of mm. course. And that's what will happen. Same as same as all the old stuff. There'll be reproduction and reproduction is done. Love like this, this one. Yeah. Three hundred years time. There'll be someone sat somewhere talking to a bunch of people and showing off the reproduction. Of those the, old Heisei yeah. era woodblock prints. Yeah, you know, this yeah. was made the original was made back in the Heisei era, you know. Yeah. 2018, my God, were people alive back then? Yeah, back when they only had the internet. So, <laughs> and they still did analog things like eating food. Yeah, and, you know, yeah, whatever. and breathing. <laughs> Yeah, one day someone will do a 16-part reproduction series on your work. Like the Great Wave series. <laughs> so good video series. Making it, and then finding all the little things that I've done wrong yeah, and pointing yeah, them out. Yeah. And stuff. Well, cool, I wish I'd be able to see that. You know, so. Having to go to uh, like various museums work. across the world to try and go Track down all copies the copies of, yeah, 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 yeah. That would be so cool. <laughs> go for it, go for it. It will happen. It will, it will happen. I don't know, I don't know. And now with all your work archived in the way that it is online and and stuff. I'm going to live forever, am I? In in, in virtual forms? Mm. Am I immortal? The immortal David Bull. <laughs> the, the shrine they erect for you, there'll be the number six baron and and that colour block there. Uh, uh. <laughs> This is going to be in a museum one day, yeah. and people will come into the room and look at it in hushed tones. And this is the <laughs> owl block. <laughs> that was the base. That's where. That's where his immortality came from. So the owl block. God, I can't. I can't print with tears in my eyes. That is a really interesting point because you you speak to people, people that aren't that don't necessarily aren't in the in the world of like wood woodblock prints mm. and stuff, and they could be of the thinking that oh well, you're you're just sort of doing video game characters and stuff, but it's exactly the same as what was done in the eighteen hundreds. It's just popular culture. Of course, of course, of course. Yeah, of course. It's absolutely no different. It is just <coughs> UKOA of yeah, but the, the our time. thing not to forget is that those prints of that era that we remember, we remember mm. the word kuniyoshi, we remember mm. the word yoshitoshi. Mm. Mm. We don't remember the, who carved those things, by the way, who printed mm. those things, by the way. Mm. Those names we don't know. Yeah, nice. So, so yeah. Who's, whose name is going to live forever here? Yeah. Not mine, Jed's. Yeah. Yeah, so. But there's also the shift now that yes, at of that course, point, of course. No we're, we're now known and open before those guys no. just laboured in the back room silently. Mm. Yes, mm. of course. So, so I get that. 
My name is Armist <laughs> too. Arrow has to say about your uh, your shrine. <laughs> he says there'll be an engraving underneath yeah. saying he was the only one who could print it. <laughs> the other one you're talking <laughs> about. <laughs> And Jed says Dave Dave put his name into every print. I put my blood into every yeah. one, you know, my sweat. Who was it? Was it Spike Milligan that had on his gravestone? Um, I told you I was sick. Yeah, I just saw yeah, something like Winnie C S M. Um, if you're talking about the police print, it's only it's, well, it's, it's, it's quite it's, it's not huge print. But it's not necessarily the stamina for the fourteen impressions. It's were you proposing the same size as the UK Heroes? Yeah, print, they're the same thought? size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just continuity's sake, and also it's a being honest it's an expense isn't it we could do them You're staggering more expensive yeah we could do them at uh uh whole bunch size yeah impossible and, but then, but you then never, that's, you never get into the market sorry good luck 25 dollars a face and you're looking at right. and the number of spoil copies pr printing is yeah. exponentially more difficult at that scale believe me mm -hmm. you'd never get a good copy yeah but it's not so much the stamina to print the 14 impressions it's the stamina to make every impression across the batch consistent <clears throat> you would never get it to market I wouldn't take it on next to impossible in the current mm -hmm. climate mm -hmm. Hello, Cameron Town. Hello. I think people. Oh yeah, people are talking about uh, David Ball hologram. Like, have you seen that with these um, Star Trek style or something? Like yeah. the old passed away like music singers, how they'll bring them, but like they did it with Michael Jackson, they brought him back out, uh, and it's like a hologram of him on stage. Well, I, I don't know yeah. about. I mean, I've seen the, the Hatsune Miku, the, the fake software singer girl on stage. Mm, mm, yeah, so there's going to be you in the corner. Still commanding over everyone in hologram form with your owl print. <laughs> that is Cameron's, Cameron's command, yeah. yeah. I get an introduction every single time I come in. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Will's on the bot too now. Yeah, oh, are you? Yeah. Temporarily. He's mm. going to be he's mm. going to be assassinated on Saturday afternoon. Yeah, dun, dun, my, uh, dun, dun. my counter is already, already <laughs> ticking. <laughs> Mr. Um says David Bullogram, 3010. Actually, based on YouTube's history recently, you know, it's not so much the printmaking, it's the stories and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we'll you go to, go, to, uh, night, yeah. go to back to Chrome, yeah. left hand, uh, not Chrome, no, I should go to Safari, so I don't have it. I, don't know, I have a stream of the comments that comes in from all the different videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go to the mail window. Yeah, look for the folder on the left called uh, YouTube. That's way down here. Oh, okay. so, uh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Just go, go to the bottom of the ones that came in this morning. Yep. Yeah. And this is what's what I'm seeing more and more now. Mm. Mm. Wow. Yeah, it's all coming. Yeah. This is what I see every day, every day, every day. A stream of these, you know. Absolutely masterful storytelling. There you go. Yeah. People like people like stories. Yeah, people like stories. Yeah. 
And we're all like, this, they're the, it's really, I don't know how I got to this video, but oh my God, I'm hooked and I'm, you know, I'm subscribing yeah. and all that kind of stuff, you know. Did you see the one last last week or so? If you go up some of this one, that's, uh, I forget the exact word. It said, uh, gentle voice. Uh, what did it say? Uh, it said, gentle voice, pleasant demeanor, wonderful hair. Yeah, wonderful <laughs> hair. <laughs> I thought, what is this? What's going on here? You know, so, so. It's real, people. It's real. <laughs> I get the occasional email about that. Is it, is it, I don't know. A, a, a wig? Piece? No, no, it's a wig. A hair piece. A hair piece. <laughs> what? Well, okay. We should did get a video here where Cameron sits here and tugs at my yeah. hair. In a Trump, <laughs> Trump style, you know. It's, so. it's a wig. <laughs> I should send that to my mother. Well, I better not, because you know she's ninety-one. And her heart is everything. If I send that to her, she'll just just <laughs> be dead on the floor, die of laughing. You know. <laughs> but it's cool. It's fun. Mm. Absolutely fun. Yeah, people send the the Ito to smooth video was yeah. their favorite and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And that was the lightning bolt. You know, people ask, do another one, do another one, do another one. There's a million stories, but oh my god. Uh, to sit down. There are a million hours though. <laughs> like, oh, do you have the time? Well, the funny thing, for example, that story, Ito-san's story. I know, I, I met somebody. He, I got a little bit of information from him. He died. I got some tools. I could tell exactly the same story about Shimano on the block plane. Yeah. I learned some blocks from him. Met him a little bit. He told me a couple of things about planing. He died. I talked to his wife. She gave me his tools. I could tell exactly the same video, just unplugging yeah. one guy's name and putting the next guy's name in. You know. Yeah. I got his bench, you know, on a Shimano San's planing bench. It's yeah. over in Ome. Oh, okay. After he died, she had nothing to do with it, so she called me up. Do you want this? I'm like, oh my God, do I want this? Of course I want this. Yeah. All the blocks from my 100 port series were planed on that bench. Yeah. And now wow. I've got the bench there in Ome. Wow. And the story gets better because when she gave me the bench, she's sort of a little bit hesitant. There's something she wants to ask, so I, I poke her a little bit, you know, what's going on, what's going on. She cries a little bit and said, you told me a while ago when you were at our shop that you had these blocks you ordered from us back in the 1970s, late 1970s, since I hadn't used yet. You were putting them aside, you know. Yeah. Do you still have those? I said, yeah, there's six of them. They're waiting for a project. I haven't decided yet. I'm not good enough for the carving yet. She said, I have nothing left, you know, from my husband's work. And I get, I get the hint. So, yeah. I, so I go back to all oh, my unwrap these package of six blocks that have been waiting since 1979 or something. Wow. And I give her one. So it, they, they're just, it's a nice, nice story. So yeah. yeah for and there's also the, there was one that we were mentioning last night, the, uh, I don't want to say on the stream actually, the, the, the one that sat in Ome, the, the uh, object that sat in Ome. Oh yes, yes, video. yes, yeah. yes, 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 yeah. oh my god, I got to do a video yeah. about that. That's gonna, that'd be, that's Cameron, get, take massive. my work away, get, okay. do, do what you're supposed yeah. to do. Alright, I'll get at it, yeah. <laughs> well, this is so funny, you, you've been here now for three, four months and you're working full time. <laughs> Doing so. all the stuff that I used to do, and yet why am I still so we need busy? Well, now you're printing. You never did that. <laughs> I did this. Work. I did all those before. Uh, well, yeah, now it was, yes. But before that, it, I thought you'd said it. it had been a while since you printed. But, uh, I mean, I, I haven't. I was working on the octopus quite well, quite well, until you came along. And since you came along, yeah. I haven't even touched the octopus. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. It's quite. Patreon people are thinking, Dave, you promised us, you know. Isn't uh, cloning technology? Advan advancing quite rapidly. Yeah, we used to have one, one more, a couple of macaques. Yeah, right. one more Dave and a couple yeah, more Camerons. And yeah, wonderful. I think we'll be getting Okay, what have we got here? I've got one, two. Oh, we're no, we've still got time. Okay, what I'll do? I've got yeah, five yeah. sheets of blue left, and I'll switch minutes. the key block. Can I? Maybe. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Or should I get downstairs? Mm -hmm. I got to finish that toilet too. Mm. No, people are saying you're a great storyteller and the way the, the speed and volume and stuff and how you keep the art going and I think. Well, again, the, the, thank you for the comments. I know I'm not in any way, you know, pushing back on this, but there's there's things we can take credit for and there's things we can't take credit for. Like, for example, if somebody says, Dave, my God, you're a wonderful carver, I will say, happily, I will say, thank you very much. Because that's the, I've worked and worked and studied and tried really hard to do that for 30, 35 mm, years. Mm. So if somebody says, now you're really good at this, I can, I can say thank you, honestly. Mm, mm. But if somebody says, for example, uh, like I'm whatever, I'm, I'm uh, 179 centimeters high, whatever, mm, the guy next mm. to me is 150. Wow, Dave, you're 170 centimeters. Wow, wonderful. They're wonderful. Like, I don't say thank you because I didn't do that. That's just, yeah, that's yeah, just yeah, yeah, what yeah, yeah. happened. And the story thing, this is kind of like that. I didn't study and work and let's see how can I tell stories and whatever. I don't I don't do anything. I just sit down 
and you know talk about, talk about it. it. So, yeah, so, so, yeah, so yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. I'm not trying to push back, but my point is I feel, you know, I can't say thank you. You know, oh, thank you very much. Good, I worked hard on that. Yeah, because I, I don't. I mean, what you know, you are who we are. And yeah, but it's like it's the presentation of it. It's the way I think what people what people like is the way that you you present the mm. story and the way that you you break it down for them. But I guess so. But I guess at the end of the day, the way it has come out naturally it seems to be something that people are finding pleasant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. not something I can take credit for. Mm. You know. Anyway, I guess you sort of mean I'm just you know I mean I'm very glad that people are enjoying this and yeah. I, I feel personally pleased myself mm. to be able to do something that people are happy with. I mean it's ego at the end of the day. So wow, people like what I'm doing. It's wonderful. So. Everybody's happy, but I, I didn't sort of do this. You know, it's just happening. Well, I think it's because you could look at it from the point of view that the stories are a byproduct of your thirty years of experience. Of course, well, well, look, of course, yeah, so that goes without saying. Of course, mm-hmm. you know, so sixty-six years of experience. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Like someone like I couldn't sit down and tell a story like that and make it sound convincing and interesting and stuff mm-hmm. because I simply just don't have you're, you're the half, knowledge. You're yeah, half of my age. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, have, I have no knowledge or. And well, that's the point. That came up a while ago. One of the, one of the points said, man, you're having such an interesting life. You know, I wish my life was as interesting as this. And I didn't answer that because I really didn't know what to say. You know, I am having an interesting life or no, I am making an interesting life. You know, making decisions to do this, to do this, to do this. Does this stuff happen to me or am I making it happen? You know, and I'm not quite sure about that. So the storytelling comes out because there's been a ton of interesting things I've done. But that wasn't random, you know, I, I, I did stuff, you know. Mm. So yeah, half and half, I'll, I'll, I'll take credit for, for doing stuff, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I really like the, those, those, um... What I want to do more of us is David, David's choice. Yeah, you know, they're I, really he, I show you half a dozen prints yeah, last we, night. We had, oh, a, oh. we had about three or four episodes of David's choice last night. Private, personal, yeah, private. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So, 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 yeah. so. I'll one send day, you the bill. I'll send you the bill. Yeah, one, yeah. Day. one day, um, yeah, there's one that I, there's uh, one particular. What about that deck of that? prints from Kyoto? 57 mm. prints. Yeah, well, that's no, that's that. two then. Yeah, there's the, the Kyoto prints and also the... Um, the block you showed me, the block and print that you showed me. Oh, the Uthamai reproduction. Mm. There's nothing secret about that. Mm. Well. Yeah, I know, but just that's wow. But yeah, that that uh, the series from Kyoto. That's that blew my mind. That that was. I could do a Davis Choice video every day for like ten years with yeah. non-stop. There's that much yeah. information waiting to be yeah. talked. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> Mischief Man says one day you'll tell a story about hanging out with Dave on screen. Yeah, so it's going to be Yeah, it's going to come back around, isn't it? Oh, go for it. In 30 years, I'll be sat there on hologram. Yeah. Back when I was 27, still, I visited Tokyo and Dave was yeah. still there. Still struggling to print invitation. And I said, you you knew the actual Dave boy yourself? <laughs> he, what, what, what? You know? <laughs> yeah, I slept on the floor. Kicked him out of the bedroom and made him sleep upstairs. Not to mention the shop problem. Mm, mm, mm. okay. And people will all be like, how could you have done that? Yeah, Mr. Um says remembering Carver, David Bull. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty views on YouTube. <laughs> Yes, Dave gave me one of his TV blocks. <laughs> I've seen Dave's TV block, actually. It's a piece of junk. You guys should all start making friends with my daughters. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Getting on the... Uh... Getting on the inheritance action. <laughs> <laughs> People are saying that he was... And he was printing that owl. The owl. <laughs> Sylvia, that'd be a good book title. Mm-hmm. Remembering the right side of a carver's hand. Because uh, the way that we hold the knife. I 
Alright, there are, how many outprints have been done? Uh, currently shipped is around 360. Oh no. So there's another 30 gone to OME, so that's 390. Yeah. And then there's another 30 here. Hold on, but that count you saw on the website, that's how many have gone, that's how many have sold. Oh, okay, that's yeah. the order. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay so OME is out of stock. Yeah, there's another 30 <coughs> that's gone to OME. And then Dave's doing another 30 now. I've spoiled a couple of these, there won't be 30, I've spoiled a couple of them. Okay, well I think we've got the last copy here, I think, this morning. Okay. So, yep. if this is number yep. 30 here this morning, so, what is it now, 9.15? <clears throat> I've got to get to it, there's no point in trying to get the next color started, because no. I won't be able to finish it, so. No. So this will be the last sheet of the day here. This will be the last blue owl background you're going to see for a couple of months. Wow. So tomorrow's stream, I think, will be, what's today? What day is it today? It's Thursday, sorry. It's Thursday. Yeah, so I guess so I'll just leave these papers in here. Tomorrow I'll be doing the key block on this 30. Yep. And if it goes well, I should be able to finish. Yeah, I'll be finished all. Mm -hmm. I'll do the key block. I'll do the key block, the light, sepia, the brown, and the green, and finish this batch of 60 owls. Uh, someone's asking, um, when will the owls be back available to order? <laughs> well, did she, they should be, it should be on the webpage. Did she turn it off? I don't know. Uh, uh, I shipped them to Wilma yesterday. They're going to be, know. today's Thursday. Nobody's there today. They're packing tomorrow. The website should be up and running. It should be open. Okay. Yeah, Remind exactly. me when we shut the stream down to, to have a look mm, and check mm, that. Because mm. even if people order now, they can't ship before the weekend, so no problem. Mm, mm. The website should be open. I think what's done is she, there's many cases where we've run out of a print, and I've told her, okay, I'll shut the website down, and I forget, and orders come in, and then she can't ship it. So mm. what she's been doing, she's been proactive. Yeah. When the last copy leaves their center, mm. even though we're still mm. printing it, she shut the website down. And it shouldn't have been, I think. We should still be taking orders for these things because it is actively in reprinting. Oh, it says, yeah, it says uh, it's in reprinting. Then that should be changed. Remind me, in yeah. five minutes we'll change yeah. that back. Yeah. Um, I'm going to write this down. If she turns it off and no one remembers to turn it back on, I'll be thinking, why aren't there orders for owls recently? <laughs> Right, camera Sam, yes. can you do that? Can you turn the owls back on, please? I will try. I think I know how. On our manager page, on our website, Henshu, second block, first item in the second block of the manager page. Yeah, the owl. Yeah. Just, it, I think it's marked as reprinting right now. Turn it back onto available. Alright. And that'll also put it into the euros and pounds section now. Oh, excellent. <laughs> we're, now we're in the middle of, I know, I've been doing some programming on the website the last few days. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're switching it over to accept all four currencies on a yen, dollars, euros and pounds. Mm. Mm. Someone says, uh, sounds like it's a faucet and you just turn up, turn the handle and the owls just start pouring <laughs> out. <laughs> if, if only. <laughs> <laughs> so what Sylvian says, uh, can you turn the owls back on now? Okay, the owls are back on. As the owls back says, on everyone, get this quick This is in. cool. Quick, quick, quick. I just give a command to a distant voice in the next room and stuff happens. <laughs> wow. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I so much like being a boss here. <laughs> That's why we need cloning. We can have a day in each room and you can just call through. <laughs> Delegating. Uh, people are placing, I think, yeah, someone's placing an order now. <laughs> Stand by to receive orders. <laughs> Get ready to turn that thing back off, please. <laughs> when it hits 59, turn it off. I spoiled one here, so. <laughs> Will we hear that intense order sound? Philippine says. <clears throat> is there an order sound? Actually, no, this has changed now. It changed on January 1st. And all the orders used to come to my computer here personally. Oh, okay. so and I well, finally I, I, I let go, mm, control, mm, mm. and control. All the order processing now goes to the central computer of where oh, the camera's okay. running. And he doesn't, like, he doesn't specifically have any interest in all that sounds playing yeah. and dings yeah. and bells and stuff yeah. going off. So that doesn't happen anymore, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, uh, I liked to play that way, but I can't, you know, I had to let go of this stuff, you know. This is part of making my job happen, mm. giving camera work to it. Zilby and I can make a sound effect if it will make you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there actually was an owl order just now. Okay, there yeah. it is. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Live, as it happens, from workbench to orders. <laughs>
Now the first 30 has gone away, so what I could do, if they hadn't, I could flip it out. I could put a little uh, mark on the back so you know which one it is. Yeah, yeah, and Mark yeah, that yeah. one, but they're already gone. I sent, yeah. they sent it home yesterday, so. <laughs> Feedback. Now, if only we had 50,000 followers on Twitch, now how do we do that? Mm. You know? The orders are open, ready, go, then go shut on. it down two seconds later, they're all gone. You know? You'd have to have a graphic that dropped like dollar so, so, so signs. It's like tick, ticket screen. sales yeah, for, yeah, yeah. for a rock concert or something, really. Yeah. Get your fingers over those buttons and click, 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 <laughs> click. <laughs> so, one day we'll be there, one day. Yeah, you'd have to have like a, a graphic on the screen where coins will sprinkle down and owls flutter up and have an order. <laughs> that is horrible twitch overlay. <laughs> all right, where are we here? Okay, gang, hi. I don't know, this might be, I got the bright light behind me, so maybe I'm all darkened up, mm. I don't know. Mm. Okay, Frank thanks again for watching, you guys. This is, uh, what, I forget what day is. this is Thursday morning, Thursday, right? Yeah. So, so, so tomorrow I'll be oh, back here again. Drifting Oops, up. I didn't, I didn't tell her. Lock it, sorry. Uh, maybe it's just probably too dark anyway. No. Okay, all right. See, it's real hair, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get enough sleep last night, I'm a little bit punch drunk, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, here we are. It's Thursday else. Tomorrow's stream, we'll be doing the key block on these 60 sheets and maybe as far as I get through to the finish of it. That's Friday. Saturday, I can't see that far. I have no idea what's going to happen. And uh, one of these days, we should try and get the camera downstairs. Hello, Emma. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Hey. So anyway, I don't know. Tomorrow, I'll be here. The day after that, no idea. Let's turn the camera around just a second here because you can see the young lady who's just come in. I don't know how far to turn this thing. Uh, I don't know. Keep going, keep going. We're almost at the door. There we go. Suki-san, say hello. Hello. Hi, Suki-san. Hello. Hi, Suki-san. Hello. Hi, Suki-san. 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 Hi,